Hi everyone and a happy new year. Um, welcome to Bimmer Club Sport Channel. <clears throat> now in my last video I did a little uh, segment about my new machine polisher. Now for machine polishing my own car I'm not too fussed about this but if I'm going to machine polish other people's cars I need something other than the machine polisher, another essential tool. I'm just looking at my own paint here. I don't know if you can see. I don't think... I'm looking up close, I don't really see any swirly marks. There's the occasional light scratch. Very light <clears throat> that can be polished out. But I'm looking all over the car here, guys. And I don't see swirlies anywhere. Let me see if I can... Oops, I shouldn't have pressed focus. <laughs> Once you press focus on a phone cam, the uh, it wants to keep that focus point. It won't refocus, at least not on mine. But I can't see swirlies anywhere, can you? Yeah, that's that's my that's the edge. That line there is the edge of my phone. <laughs> the reflection of my phone. Um yeah, let's have a look on the roof. I think, yeah, I can see light scratches on the roof. I don't even know if the phone's going to pick it up. But I can see light scratches on the roof there. I don't know if you can even see that. Little swirly things. <clears throat> but I don't think I'm going to compound this. If anything, I'll, I'll get the focus right in a second, guys. And then, yeah, if, if anything, I'm going to... Just give it a, a, a quick polishing over <clears throat> and, and see how it goes. So, on to my new addition to the polishing family. Right, so I think if you're going to be machine polishing, um, especially cars that are not yours, um, it's in order to minimize the risk of any damage to the lacquer or clear coat um, because if you're compounding then that risk is is there I, I guess with polishing the risk is less because it's not as abrasive so essential I think to machine polishing is a paint depth gauge <clears throat> so I ended up getting one. I've already calibrated it. This is a U number. Uh, it's got good ratings on Amazon. It's, it's an Amazon thing. It's about sixty-five pounds, I think. And it it will do. It's self. What's the word? When you put it on the metal, it knows whether it's steel or galvanized or aluminium. It knows automatically <clears throat> I wonder if it will detect this being aluminium uh, let's have a look galvanized yeah galvanized sorry it is um. <clears throat> that's a lot right so let's put it onto the roof which I don't think has ever been repainted in its life uh, and uh, let's go with that and see what happens now these UMs, I don't know what the hell that is. I'm going to change the unit to there's mils. Now we've got millimeters. <clears throat> so on the millimeters, there we go. That's not a correct reading. Let me just move it away. <laughs> I don't know what the hell's gone wrong here. All right, so let's start again and put the units into millimeters. Okay, on the roof then. 0 0.114, 0 0.126. Galvanized? Is the roof galvanized? <clears throat> Maybe, it could be. But the roof is made from different stuff. 0.124. You see the idea what we're getting? 0.115. That's the depth of the original paint. 
Oops, I think that was mean. I think that happens when I don't lay it flat. Galvanized? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> 0.1. Now, let's, let me put it onto an area that I know has been painted. The bonnet. This has been repainted, for sure, because I paid for it. Now, let's see. There you go. And it's even changed colour to yellow. 0.293 now. Now, remember one thing. This isn't how deep your lacquer is. This is how deep the whole lot is to the, to the metal. That's your clear coat, your paint and your primer. All right. <clears throat> so this doesn't really tell you how thick your clear coat is or your lacquer. It doesn't really tell you that. Um, so how do you know? It, the lacquer might be really thin here, but it might not be thin there. How do you know? The only all you can do really is just take readings from all over and then just kind of make estimated guesses. I mean, look at that. That's another point, point one of a millimeter thicker there. But you can tell it's been repainted. Also, this wing has been repainted. I mean, they did the whole front end uh, to get rid of the stone chips. This is a replacement wing after the other one, you know, had bubbling rust on it. Now that's that's decent. That's been repainted right there. Does that mean they didn't paint this bit? <laughs> you can see now it's actually saying steel, which is what I expect. But the roof is not steel, apparently. It's some galvanized stuff. As is the boot, right? Yeah, galvanized. So whatever this boot is made of, it's not just steel. This back wing has been repainted. We had little scratch marks on the side. So this is a repaint from the body shop. That again was my fault. 0.2. Yeah, you see the numbers change color. When it gets, when the thickness goes higher, it goes into yellows. When it gets really high, it goes into red. Uh, and you can set the threshold for each of those values on this unit. <clears throat> so when I get another person's car, not only will I be able to tell if it's been repainted anywhere, but more crucially, I'm going to be able to tell um, if, if they've polished their car a lot in the past, I'm going to be able to tell where the depth is low. I don't want to go like here. I guess my limit would be 0.07 or something like that. So I've got decent thickness on there, but that again, see like that. Now, I would put that as a weak area, so when I come to polishing, I may either miss it out, that area, or I may just gloss over it very quickly, so as not to take, especially if I'm going to compound, I might decide to maybe do it lightly by hand or something. You can see there's l less paint there. Look, 0.09. That's a whole load of difference. You see, so in this section across here, let's see if it's the same on the other side. Um, this is what I would do, uh, is just maybe choose not to run the machine polisher over here. And maybe just do this little bit by hand or something. Uh, see, I think when you don't put it on level, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's reading from, from height. There we go. See, no point one is... I think anything under that, I, I'm going to want to take some precautions over, just to be sure. Um, and obviously, if I compound my car, um, if I compound the car, which it doesn't need it, because it has, like I say, it's not full of swirls, but if I compound it, I don't want to, um, because, for example, let's say, I compound this and it's 0.128. When I compound it, that could be 0.10 or 0.9. You're taking off all the time. Anyway, so the point of buying this, as I've said, is if I'm going to machine polish somebody else's car, I want to know all about its body. Has it been, has it been painted somewhere? Now, just because the bonnet has got twice as much depth on it, 
from the lacquer all the way down to the metal. It doesn't mean that there's twice as much lacquer on there. There could be there could be less lacquer on there than on the original roof paint, you know? Um, and you don't get to do test areas with this. So, yeah. Let's have a look on the door. Yeah, again, it's a curved space. You've just got to be able to lay it flat. 0.8. Wow. This door's been painted. 0 0.1. 0 0.1. Ah, okay. I was going to say. Yeah. I. The problem is, it's me not laying the machine flat. And this is a curved area. So you have to lay it properly. There we go. 0.1. This is the kind of depth I expect from um, factory paint, I think. But, yeah, green. Yeah. So areas that I know have been painted, well, I can't do the back bumper, obviously, because it's plastic. And <laughs> it won't do a damn thing. So... I think this is handy. Obviously, it's not going to work on the mirrors either because they're plastic as well. Then we have these A pillars. 0.1. <clears throat> the only thing I know that is painted is the wing. That rear panel, that rear quarter panel there. The bonnet, for sure. The bumper, but obviously, <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> you'll see the video on my channel. I just had stone chips everywhere. Thousands of them Even a few up the bonnet and so the whole thing got a new paint job uh, for its 18th birthday and uh, Yeah, and I think this wing already also got a paint job. I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks like it did steel you see it says steel so it does recognize the the, the metal this door as well Did this get painted I think so I think there was something on yes, there was there was a paint scab on here that I had since the car, since I, I took ownership of the car. It was a scab of paint that they had to paint over. But I'm guessing that they painted either the whole door or at least from here upwards. So, yeah, you can tell. Actually, I didn't put that one on right. 0.2, that's a repaint. And just coming to this back quarter panel there, 0.1, I don't think that's right, let's do that again, 0.3 there, that's been repainted, yeah, so you get the idea, <clears throat> so when I come to doing other people's, when I come to do other people's cars, paint depth gauge, I think very important addition if you're going to do, um, if you're going to do machine polishing, I, I really think you have to have this tool. Alright, so that's going to do it, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.